Hey everybody, welcome to Kitchen Talk with Grana. I'm so glad you guys are in the kitchen with me today. Today is my one-on-one -on -one conversation. You know, I always get excited when it comes to Wednesday because I love doing my one-on-one -on -one conversation. So today I have in the kitchen with me, Giovanna Dark Beauty Java. She's gonna be dropping some information to us about her coffee line and giving us all the juice on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let her come on up in here and introduce herself. So hey everybody, I'm Giovanna. I'm the owner of Dark Beauty Java and I'm excited as well. This is like my first interview. So honestly, I'm kind of nervous, but I'm excited and honored. So um, I want to just give everybody just a little background um, of my coffee. So, and I'm looking at the bag. I just really love your display. It's just so nice to <laughs> it like us out of my house. So, okay, but yeah, so I used to call myself Dark Beauty Angel. Um, I believe in dark beauty because honestly, I found my my beauty in a dark place. Um, I went through some weird stuff in life, um, but I, I survived. And so I just kind of latched on to the dark beauty meaning and just, you know, what it's all about. And it kind of became my thing. So it was like my alter ego. So then in 2020, um, I've always been crazy about coffee, but I don't know, 2020 was just really crazy for everybody. And I'm everywhere drinking coffee. So I was like, no, let me just, how do I, how can I just, you know, have my own coffee brand, you know, so I can just wake up every morning and just not even have to worry about not having coffee. Um, Cause that happened to me a couple of times and I, I didn't like it. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, I did my research and I went ahead and did the steps, took the steps that I needed to do. Um, I love feedback, so I reached out to my family. I'm very thankful for my family. Um, I'm thankful for Mika and her family. I'm so thankful for everybody's feedback because that's what actually gave me the push um, to keep going and to just get started. So we are new. We started in November 2020. And okay. then started, Believe, of course, started um, in December, which is the perfect compliment to coffee i mean tea right absolutely yes <laughs> yes so we just um we just decided to do something together but separate you know dark beauty java is me and my way to express things and believe it's her way to express things so we found a way to put it together um and so far it's been working for us absolutely i have uh spoke with amika about believe tea and i'm excited to get to taste that i haven't tasted mine dark uh java yet but i'm gonna be doing it after this uh um one-on-one -on -one conversation with you and you've touched on a little thing uh, uh quite a bit of what i was gonna ask you because i was definitely gonna ask you how you guys started all of that so since you've already taken us through that little journey i'm gonna ask you um when it comes to your coffee lines uh how do you do you uh basically tell your uh scientists or your people that mix that that does your blends what flavors you're looking for yes so I wanted to do organic, of course, because organic coffee is, is the purest form. Um, it doesn't have anything in it but the coffee or or like the vanilla beans or things like that. Um, okay. It's like no chemical. So what I do is the flavors, the first two flavors, the breakfast and the vanilla, those were my two personal favorites um, when I was when I would drink different coffee brands. Right. So I let me try these two first and we'll see how that go. And then once I tried it, I fell in love. So I was like, you know what? Let me get more flavors. Cause you know, some people like decaf. Um, some people like caramel. I like caramel as well. Or mocha, which is my favorite. That one is very delicious. So um, yeah, I just, I tell them what I want. Um, I get feedback of course from, like I said, family, friends, and on right. my Facebook page, I always, I'm always on that one because Facebook is a really good avenue for me. Absolutely. Um, everybody is on there and everybody like knows how to use it. So I get most of my feedback from like my family and friends because I'm a coffee drinker, but I know it's plenty different coffee drinkers out there. And I want to just make sure I have a flavor for everybody. Right. You want to definitely have that variety because the more of a variety, the more you're going to pull in, pull in your, uh, your customers in. And then sometimes people may want to try different stuff. They may have not only been a French vanilla drinker. They may want to try caramel or or they may want to do decaf. Now, let me ask you this. Do you have the coffee pods also for the uh, Keurig uh, maker? 
Yes, the K-Cups, they are in the making. Um, they probably won't launch, honestly, until July. Um, okay. It was something that was going to happen in February, but so much stuff happened with whatever, the, you know, business stuff. But anyway, neither here nor there. That <laughs> is a product, um, and it's going to launch in January. However, in the place of that, I do sell the K-Cup filters. Okay. Um, one so because i know a lot of people have the k cup the keurig maker or whatever personally i like the pot and i'm so excited that keurig made the double one now i can't wait to go and get it i'm so excited but um <laughs> yeah so in the place of that because like i said i know a lot of people have the keurigs i do sell right. the um the filter ones because a lot of people don't even know about them which is weird because you would think that that would be out there i don't know but yeah they don't know right. about it and make sure that they know, hey, if you have a curate, you can still get this coffee because I have the filters for you. Absolutely. Yeah. A lot of people, like I said, once they started with the Keurig and the K-Cups, they just forgot about the coffee uh, makers or the coffee pots, which, like I said, you can definitely get. I have a filter to go with my Keurig, so I can definitely, I, you know, I'm already set for mine. I can I can drink mine and do it that way. Now, when it comes to when uh, go ahead, let me let you go ahead because we haven't mentioned it yet. Uh, your social media um info so if they want to order something we want to go ahead and start putting out your 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 social media uh info for them to do ordering and stuff okay so it's dark beauty java um it's dark beauty java on facebook twitter instagram um you can also google dark beauty java you can find us there as well we're also on TikTok. um and then the website is www.darkbeautyjava.com. Okay, okay. Well, I didn't know you was on Twitter. I mean, on TikTok. I'm going to have to check you out on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and when, when it comes to your shipping and all that, the first question, I'm sure you do shipping because you ship me some stuff. Uh, what's the cost of your shipping? And do you uh, take basically any type of major credit cards? Okay, yeah, we take all credit cards. Um, we will be taking cash as well on Believe's food truck. But okay. yes, um, at first when I started, started, I was doing the shipping. It is a headache. Um, and the shipping cost was very expensive. Absolutely. Um, I did get discounts. However, it's very expensive. It's a headache. So now what my company is doing, we actually have a fulfillment center. So we won't have to worry about the shipping per se, but I'm as a business owner, I'm always going to worry about it until my customer gets it. This is, I don't know if I'm ever going to not be that way, but I always make sure that I make, I have a report that everything was delivered. Everyone has it, you know, everything is fine. Um, and that's just because I order a lot online myself and I love when companies, you know, make sure I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I, right. I like right. my product everything as well so i want to make sure that all my customers get that experience from me absolutely and you just mentioned uh you got you all gonna have a t slash uh dark beauty java truck like a food truck it's a food truck but now it's called a concession okay, truck. okay. so yeah that's in the making um they're working on it now so we're happy about that and it's just Honestly, I'm glad we both took the leap of faith because now it's like so many possibilities, so many different ideas, so many things that we can get our hands into. And I love the fact that we, I love that we believe in ourselves. And right. I also don't allow ourselves to feel like if this doesn't work, what will happen? Of course, we have backup plans, but I, I just want to let everybody know if you want to start something, then just go ahead and start it, even if it don't do anything yet. It's better to start than to not start at all. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, if you don't believe in yourself or, or or try to reach some of your dreams and your goals, then you never know if you could or you couldn't. So you definitely, you know, should believe in yourself and just step out there on faith sometime and see what happens and stuff. But let me ask you this. Uh, I know that um, Big Tea is going to be having like online uh, tea tasting or tea sampling. Are you going to be doing something like that? Yes, I'm going to be on there. Um, I'm not going to do one separately right now. Um, that's probably going to be later. But I am going to have a couple of my new new coffees on there as well to introduce people to them. Okay, okay. But 
<laughs> that one, that live is going to be about Believe. Um, Dark Beauty Driver will be there. We'll be there a little bit, but <laughs> not fully. <laughs> right, right. Well, yeah, I'm excited about uh, checking her out tomorrow night and stuff. But I didn't know. I hadn't seen anything on social media where you had scheduled it online. So I was yeah, asking. That, that is coming, um, but not right now. I want to make sure everything is great before I, um, you know, just jump out there trying everything. And plus, I want to get at least two more people. And it's very hard to do this with COVID, you know. Right. Two more people that I don't know, um, you know, to just try to copy it and just let me know which flavor that they like. So it may be a sample testing soon. Um, I don't know. We got to work with the state boards to see how we would do that with COVID and things like that. But if not, um, I'm just going to wing it like Mika and just go ahead and do a live and just go from there. Right, right. Well, yeah, COVID definitely has put some uh, some restrictions on a lot of things because, if you you know, if it was a different time, then you would be able to just sit up, you know, sit up an event somewhere and have an event. You know and invite people in so COVID had definitely um you know kind of restricted some things for your business but I'm, I'm i'm proud of you i'm excited for you and i definitely be posting on my social media and on kitchen talk with grandma then people know hey y'all need to go check this out y'all need to try this so i would be definitely pushing it uh so that people know because you know word of mouth social media all that is our way of advertising right now since we can't get out there with with all the COVID uh going on and everything so I'm going to let you, Javana, am I saying your name right? I want to make it's sure I'm doing that. Javana. Javana. Okay, yeah. I got you. I got you, Javana. Hey, go ahead, and we're going to we're gonna keep pushing out your social media information. You know, go ahead and throw that out there again for them. Okay, so social media on Facebook, Instagram. Wait, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok is <laughs> Dark Java. And then the website is www.darkbeautyjava.com. Okay. And oh, once, um, because I don't have, I have a couple of reviews on there, but don't forget about Google because I'm trying to draw attention to Google as well, so that other people can see. Um, because now that I do have the fulfillment center, I'm able to ship globally. So I want to make sure that you know a lot of people hear about it um, and try this coffee. I'm trying to get it like everywhere as All far right. as you no know. absolutely we need to make it uh worldwide not nationwide worldwide we need to get it everywhere you know you need to get that feedback you know people i don't understand you know sometimes people uh, watch videos but they forget to go and hit that subscribe button or that share button or just leaving a comment to let you know let you know what they think about it so hopefully when they check out this video they will you know, be able to reach out to you and, you know, get it, get, you know, get an order and see how they like it and see what, you know, what's, you know, what brand is, what taste, what uh, flavor is going to be best for them. So hopefully this will help you to get your brand out there. And because I'm going to be pushing it. And right now my favorite uh, flavor is French vanilla. So I'm excited about that uh, like to, to get a chance to, you know, to check that out. But I just, I'm just excited that you uh, gave me an opportunity to sit down with you because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm all about promoting positivity and promoting people that's trying to start their, you know, their journey and start their dream and start their brand. And, you know, as long as it's positive, I'm all about it. Yes. I'm all about it. Let me ask you about your cup. You guys see her cup? Look at her cup. Isn't that beautiful? I love her going the wrong way. You guys see that? So can they order these cups also? Yes. Um, that mug, and then we also have a black and red mug that's available. We will have more products, um, or more mugs and more different things like that on both of the websites. So y'all will be able to um, get those as well. Okay. And I do know that you noted inside of mine that these are not microwave uh, mugs, yes. correct? Yes. Those, the gold ones are not mic microwavable, and you have to be careful when you wash them. They can't be washed with anything harsh. Trust okay. me. <laughs> Somebody tried to put the gold mug in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that probably didn't turn out too good. Okay. okay, well, you guys heard it from her. You know, Dark Beauty Java, you can order your mugs. She's going to have different flavors coming. Uh, she's going to have the K-Cups coming. She's working on a lot of things. She's just waiting on that support from everybody out there to give her the support that she needs. And all you got to do is just check it out. Just, you know, check out her social media uh, 
information that she said to you guys and once this video posts i will be posting all her social media along with it also so you guys you know just just uh give her a little support and show her some love uh i appreciate you so much for spending this time with me we're we're pretty much done in the last uh few seconds anything you want to say uh no i just i want to thank you so much i just as much as you appreciate me i appreciate you for doing my very first interview thank you so much all right so guys we're getting ready to get up out of here but before i go i just want to say guys you know COVID 19 is out there coronavirus make sure you're wearing your mask make sure you're being safe if you got to be out and about do your social distance have your hand sanitizer and just practice all the safety things you need to keep yourself and your family healthy it does not discriminate it's out there attacking all of us if it gets the opportunity to so you guys at the end of the video go back show us some love subscribe to kitchen talk with Rana. go and subscribe to all the all of dark beauty java uh social media uh um uh, social media things that she got going on and guys just have a great day and we're gonna get with you guys next time around thank you have a good night